Hello, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Single Capricorn. If you are a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or however Capricorn may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you. But first, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my client testimonial, or my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. If you are interested in following me on social media platforms, just take a look underneath my banner and there you will see several of my social media uh, links. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all three channeled messages. And the only thing I would uh, ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, turn on your notification uh, bell so you don't miss out any content upload or where I go live on my live stream. All right, so Capricorn, we're going to take a look here at what messages come through in regards to what potential blessings may be coming in for you in the month of August in regards to your love life, okay? We're also going to take a look at what mindset you need to have in order to maximize the blessings or the energies that you are calling into your energy field. But first, I would like to take a sneak peek at your past or recent past, especially with Mercury being in retrograde. Because sometimes when Mercury is in retrograde, we tend to be a little bit more reflective. We look back. We think about the past. We may go back into people, places, things, events that may pull our energy. Or sometimes we may end up having people in regards to our past that may pop up again. As you know, Capricorn, I mentioned this before. I just want to remind you that all these messages are focusing on your love life. So let's take a look at Capricorn's past or recent past. So by the way, so some of you, you just saw that. I won't take it unless it's like facing up. So that's why I put it back in the deck. You have uh, the nautical princess dress of alchemy. All right, so what I'm getting here in your past or recent past, number one, there's a lot uh, having to do here with personal growth in regards to your love life in the past or recent past. You may have felt here some type of change or shift that may have happened here. Okay, something transformative happened here in your past or recent past in your love life that propelled or moved you in the fast track of personal growth. For some of you here, you know, whatever this may be, at the moment that you were going through whatever you were going through in the past or recent past, whatever change there may have been, you have the number 41, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, and 5 is the number associated with changes. So whether this was a change that you chose or a change that the universe chose for you in order for this to be a lesson for you to grow in or for you to learn from in your past or recent past, there's a sense of sadness, pain that's coming through here with this person here. It's as if this was some type of growing pains. It's like you may have gone through this situation, circumstance, event, or with someone here or a connection where, in a way, 
it was a blessing in disguise because there was something here that you needed to learn. Whether it was that you needed to learn that about the person that you were with or that you needed to learn about yourself. You also have here dress of alchemy. Three, three is the number here. Angel number three, three. And interesting because four take away one is equal to three. So you have three, three, three. Okay. So you have number 41 and also number 33. Now dress of alchemy is, this is giving me magician energy in tarot. However, it says release your power here. And I feel there may have been a connection in the past or recent past that may have dimmed your light, so to speak. You may not have felt as if you were your authentic self in this connection. There could have been things, situations, circumstances, events, even that person may have in a way taken away, so to speak, your vitality, your energy. Maybe this person was draining you. Maybe there were situations here in your love life that were draining you. Is as if you have the power or had the power here in the past or recent past. You have like this magician power, this magician energy, this ability to manifest and to take resources and place them and use tools and make things happen. But there's a sense here as if you bottled up your potential here. It was like there was a sense here of untapped potential here in your past or recent past. For whatever reason, there could have been here a reason for it. But there's something here about you noticing something finally or coming into some type of illumination or clarity at some point where you decided, and this could have been towards the end of the connection in your love life or could be at a point where this growth, like I said, this change may have occurred where something lit up. Like you're like, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> I have the power to change this scenario or I have a, the power to change this ending and start a new beginning. My apologies here. <laughs> Capricorn, my light source. Of... So that's how this is coming across here. Capricorn. As if there's this Wait, I'm going to have to pause this and I'll be right back. Apologies there, Capricorn. I just had to take a moment here to fix the lighting situation. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it's feeling as if you had the opportunity here or the realization or the clarity here where you decided like to reclaim your power or to stand in your power, like to stand up for yourself. It's like there's this energy here of I'm not going to continue to take this anymore type of energy. And that may be here for some of you the reason why there may have been this breakup, separation, or divorce in your past or recent past. Because it's as if this person either didn't deserve you. Or you were being taken advantage of, or you were being placed in a position where you weren't, you weren't, um, I keep hearing overqualified. <laughs> so some of you may have been like overqualified and maybe, you know, in whatever area, you know, it doesn't have to be professionally for some of you, it could have been professionally, but for some of you, you just could have been overly qualified in being like very awakened and, or having so much potential. It's like you weren't really fully tapping into your potential or this person maybe in your past or recent past wasn't, um, you know, they weren't being as grateful or they weren't seeing that your uniqueness 
is your special power. Your ability to, you know, whatever this may be for you. I'm looking here and this looks like, um, let me see this. Interesting. I've had these this deck for a very long time. I never noticed it. There are a lot of signs or symbols here. For so, I mean, it looks like it's a map. Like her bo bodice is a map. Because it has like compass, north, south. And for some of you, you you probably, you, you knew where you were heading. You knew where you were going. You have goals. You have dreams. You have ambition. And there could have been something here that may have been becoming or was a sense of an obstacle or a challenge not allowing you to fully blossom or, or flourish here in the way that you you know, that you truly are, right? It's like I'm getting someone dimming your, yeah, look at that. You got freedom. Exactly what I said. It's like you needed to spread your wings here. Some of you may have felt a little bit confined. And look, I just said travel. Didn't I say that this, this person here has like a bodice? Let's see if you can see it here. Right here. And it has like a map and exactly freedom. I wrote freedom and I also wrote travel here. Communication. Communication could have been stifled, as I said before. Capricorn, I, I, I don't have all these issues with lights. Listen, the show must go on. <laughs> so I'm just going to move uh, further over here. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at uh, what blessings are coming in your direction. Actually, let me do one more card here. And then we're going to um, hop into your blessings, okay? My apologies, Capricorn. But it's like something is dimming my light over here. Actually, the, the power went out. Um, <laughs> so it's fine. You got the night of swords here. Yeah, there could have been here an impulsivity on someone's part, on someone's end. Not fully, um, you know, something may have been said out of place. Someone may have been verbally unkind. There could have been a lot of overthinking analytical frame of mind, impulsivity, maybe in something that was said or done in the past or recent past. Whatever this was, Capricorn, it was a blessing in disguise because it allowed you to free yourself from whatever situation, person, or circumstance that may have been um, not the best for you. Okay, and that's how this is coming across. It might not have been the ideal situation. It may not have been the ideal partnership. Okay, let's take a look here at what blessings are coming in your direction here in the month of August in regards to love, your love life. Potential blessings coming your way. And we have here, we have talent, exactly what I was telling you. There could have been some talent, some special skill, like the magician energy in tarot. There's something that you can do, something that's either magical or unique. Look, you have talent, you have reconciliation, you have boundaries. Your boundaries may not have been set up as strongly as they needed to here in the past or recent past, but the blessing that's coming in your direction in regards to um, your love life is that there is going to be here either a person who shares um, the same talent as you or a talented person. There's something here about two people liking something or being into the same thing. So if sports is your thing, music is your thing, whatever that might be. Reconciliation for some of you here, you may uh, get the apology that you've been deserving of. Or maybe you will feel compelled to apologize for something here. 
Um, I'm not surprised that this is here because as I said at the top of your reading, Mercury is in retrograde and sometimes what happens is people from our past or recent past may pop up. So there may be here that type of energy, someone popping up, someone that you may have had a, a connection with. Could be this person that's on this side over here with their energy here. You have boundaries, but I feel here that this time around, whomever this may be or whatever this may be about, is as if you are going to be more clear of your boundaries or you're not going to allow anyone to, um, you know, to, 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 to pull you out of what you know, or you're not, it's like you, you're standing in your power. And the moment that you recognize you are standing in your power and that you have non-negotiables and that this is what you clearly think and feel and you voice what your standards are or what your non-negotiables are. And as long as you are aligned to whatever standards or values, you know, that you have in regards to your love life is as if. There's this sense here where you're not going to be messed with. And whoever may not have seen that part of you that may come either to talk again or to, hey, how are you? Or you, 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 you know, you cross my mind is as if you are going to let this person know who you are and what you're about and this new, either newfound energy or this strengthening of your alignment here with your higher self. So if it's not a strong yes, it's a no. And that's how this is coming across here. Let's take a look here at what other beautiful blessings are coming in your direction. In regards to love, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. You feel very comfortable being on your own. You are self-reliant. You're independent, which is great. And that is right under boundaries. As I said before, you are in your power. As I said before, there's there could be here a surprise. Page of Cups here. There could be a surprise. Someone calling you. Someone texting you. Someone you haven't heard from. All of a sudden, out of the clear blue sky, they may connect with you. Now, this person doesn't have to be someone that is reconciling with you. Okay? It could be someone new. But for some of you, this is a surprise. A blast from the past. Others of you, this could be a new person here that you may feel intuitively connected because of that full moon in the background. So there could be an intuitive, intuitive connection, a surprise meeting. This person could be, there could be here an age difference. It doesn't have to be, but it could be because it's, this person is coming in as a page of cups. Doesn't have to be, it could be a, also lack of maturity. And finally, this person, maybe this person over here finally matured and they're owning up to their mistakes or someone is approaching you. It could be the beginning stages of a reconciliation because pages are also not only about messages, but it's also about the initiation process, the beginning stages of something. So someone here may be um, someone that you know may start sending texts or start reaching out to you just to see how you're doing. Kind of checking your temperature on things here. How am I going to be received when I say hello? Maybe a hello that you haven't heard from from a very long time. Whoever this is, there is a, a bit of a surprise there. Queen of Pentacles under talent. Hey, listen, as I said before, there's something that you have a unique talent for. Okay. And it's going to bring you some type of abundance and prosperity. For some of you, I'm getting that there's something here related to your career or the way that you make your income. You may meet someone in that same field or someone may come to you for whatever it is that you do. And you may kind of meet this surprising person here. I feel that this person will be more aligned to your energy 
because of that full moon that is happening between these two people. Okay. Please do not come for me in the comment section. I know that the light just went out, but <laughs> trying to roll with the punches in here. Okay, so let's take a look here. What mindset you need to have in order to maximize your blessings? <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles is a beautiful energy here. There's something very solid that you're looking for or that you are attracting in your circle. This person may be, I mean, listen, honestly, they could be any sign, okay? So just giving you that out there. But this person could be an earth sign. You have two pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising Venus, or meet a person in during Virgo season because that's the one that's coming up now. It's coming up shortly. The person could also be a water sign. You have water, water here. Okay, you have earth, earth. You have one, two, three. Three cards showing earth, two cards showing water. So this person could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus. Or they may have a lot of water or earth on their astrological natal chart. Okay. Let's see what mindset you need to have in order to maximize your beautiful blessings here. You have, I respect my body. And it's interesting because I'm getting not your body. I respect my boundaries. You, you are putting boundaries or you're strengthening, strengthening your boundaries so that whomever approaches you now or comes in your energy field, they are to respect that if it's not a solid yes, then it's a no. It's you demonstrating to those who may try to test your boundaries to firmly stand in your power. Capricorn, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.